This is going to be a quick overview of the DIY battery meter setting on your 2017 e-bike kit display. Uh, in this example, we're actually going to use voltage settings for a 48 volt lithium battery, and this is a slightly more sensitive setting than our default 48 volt lithium battery settings. Uh, so we'll recommend this for people who have uh, an e-bike kit battery. They have it set on 48 volt lithium, but it's not responding. Um, as much as they'd like it to, so this will crank up the settings a little bit. This would be a good uh, starting point if you're programming in your own 48 volt lithium settings, and that'll all make sense in a minute. So we're going to start off with the screen turned on here. We're going to press and hold the up and down arrows at the same time for three seconds to open the settings menu. And you see we're on ST1. So to advance to the next setting, we'll tap the M button once. We'll see ST2, etc. So we're going to go through to ST5. This is where you set your voltage settings. So we want to put this on see 48 volt lithium might be for our 48 volt lithium battery. We're going to set this pressing the up arrow several times until we see DIY and that will enable our DIY battery settings over in the VO dash zero to VO dash five settings. So we're set on DIY. By default that's not going to give you any useful values. So we'll hit the M button again to go to the next screen and we're going to advance all the way to VO and VO zero which is after ST9. So for 48 volt we're going to set this on 44 so you'll see the up and down arrows change the digit that's currently flashing and the M button advances to the next digit. So we're going to set this to 44.0. There we go. And when you get to the last digit and you press M, it will advance you to VO1. We're going to set this to 46.0. So this digit's flashing. We'll change it to 4. We'll advance to the next digit and we'll change that to 4. And then using the M button, we'll advance to the next digit and change that to 0. Now the M button will advance this to VO2. The 3 is flashing, so we'll use the up arrow to change it to 4 use the M button to go to the next digit. We're going to set this to 47.2. We'll go to VO3 and we're going to set that to 48.0. If, uh, if you end up messing this up accidentally somehow, nothing to worry about. We'll just uh, start over and uh, we can do it again, no problem at all. For VO4, we're going to set this on 49.1. And for VO5, we're going to set this on 51.9. And you can see here that I've missed it. I set it on 41.9 as an example. So when I hit M, go back to ST1, just continue back through the settings until I get to act to VO and you can see our other settings are still there 44.0 VO2 is on 47.2 VO3 is on 48.0 VO4 on 41.9 and then VO5 now I'll change that to 51.9 which is what we want so now that I've got all the settings in the way I like them I'm going to press and hold the M button for three seconds now for your particular battery you may want different settings but this this is a good batch of settings for an e-bike kit 48 volt lithium battery now you've seen that after I've turned the screen off and back on again the battery meter is now reading the actual state of the battery and it's showing that the battery is is just about completely empty whereas before it was showing is quite full and now I'm going to turn the screen off and your uh, custom settings are all saved now that the screen is off and you know everything is good.